Hey guys, check this out. You know, I'm not a poor sports or anything like this. But I know what this here party has done to me. I know what this party has done to America. There's a bowling alley in Morton, Washington, Millhouse Smokehouse. There's a bowling alley in Maine that was shot up in Lewiston, Maine. There's another bowling alley in Colorado that was shot up that they have a canine center in it. And I'll tell you what, he's your president of the United States. If it's a fair goddamn election, he just won it. He should never fucking bitch that the elections in the United States of America isn't fair. Because if he's goddamn won it, he fucking won it. And watch, the Democratic Party will let him have his goddamn cake. He's drugged this country through fucking hell. He owns so much goddamn debt. They won't let him go bankruptcy because what? He owes too much debt. Everything this goddamn person has done to this country and all of his court cases, what? Disappear? Well, let's just see how it works out for the gentleman. Because he's above the law. These people are a bunch of criminals. They support a criminal. And I'll tell you what, I'll stand by it today. I had a Bible, and I have this Bible right here. I just don't mind telling people. I'd get into this King James Version Bible today because I'll tell you what, in 2014 I had a set of keys drop out of a Bible that shook in my hand at 1007 7th Street in Camas, Washington. And God gave me the set of keys. And I walked them down and I threw them in the water. It went right under the paper mill. And I witnessed things that happened that was supernatural. I've witnessed things that did happen Things keep zipping like this forward. And the next time it zips, I'm afraid that this book's going to go fucking slam closed. And it's over. Here's your president. Support your president. That's what you're supposed to do in the United States of America. And I won't, I won't say to disobey it. I won't say to disobey the law. But I goddamn tell you. I don't support the Republican Party. I used to be a part of the Republican Party. At least I support them. I gave this man fucking money. He fucking, it had, I had to fucking wait for fucking shit. I mean, Jesus Christ, the all he was was a fucking panhandler. And all of his fucking people, all these Republicans that I've met, most of them I've goddamn met are just disrespectful fucking people that are no more than goddamn panhandlers. And I goddamn tell you, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, and the Holy Father will have his day. And I'll tell you, there'll be ashes under his feet because he's the Holy Father's just been that way. I've removed my way out of it. I tried to stay out of goddamn politics. I tried to stay out. I, I tried to stay out of goddamn politics. I don't even want to watch the goddamn news. This sort of fucking group of people, my family, the whole goddamn group of them, and what they've done. I would never support a fucking clan. That's exactly what they was. It was a goddamn clan that came after me, my family, my belongings. I have no respect for this guy. I have no respect for his fucking children. I don't have no respect for his children's, children's, children's children. This man has fucking said things and done things. that I had never fucking seen such a thing. 
such a pathetic goddamn human. But you know what? God created him for this very fucking purpose. You know, all that I do know is I know what I've seen. I know what happened. And if you guys want to examine a house at 1007 7th Street, Camas, Washington, there's a burnt spot right in the middle of that floor, that ottoman. Susan Donahoe, I've met her down here, and she's experienced things down here. And I kind of fucking enjoyed it. I never thought I'd see the woman before. She sold me this Bible right here for $10. I gave her 40 bucks. 40 is like completion. If you know anything about completion. Well, I've had enough seeing this. Six minutes. And I'll tell you what, it's like six, it's like death. <laughs>